and I'm still gonna get some money, okay? I want that to be clear. I want one thing, I'm not on Krishan dick. I'm not a salty bitch. I don't have to be a salty bitch. And if y'all don't like me being nice, don't watch me. It's, it's that simple. You're obsessed. I go on live talking about things because people are talking about things. Yes. I can be included in any, any and every conversation in the world. If I'm going to talk about Rihanna performance tomorrow, I can. If I want to talk about motherfucking anybody, I can. This is my lips. This is my tongue. And it can spill whatever it feels. You see how, how cutthroat people have to say about me? Like, that's some cutthroat shit to say. But you want me on your show. You just made me not want to do the reunion because I really just was just doing it for my fans. And that's why I did the show. Bambi, that's why I went to the reunion. Let me tell you something. I knew he fucked over me the moment after I fought Krishan. After that, it was set up after set up after set up. Once you become a top dog, he tries to get you fucked up. He, he puts powerhouses against powerhouses so he can get a new powerhouse. That's what he does. And he traumatizes these girls. Let me let y'all know something. He really traumatizes you guys. And I've had a lot of these girls come to the show not believing what I've been through, you guys, and have to go through this shit. And it hurts me to see them hurt, crying. Like, it, it fucks with you every day. And y'all be like, why are these girls on here screaming at their phones every day? Because every day they're being fucked with and he's fucking with their mental and telling them, nah, girl. I'm going to make you a star. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about them girls. But turn around tell them girls to attack each other. That is fucked up. Let them make their own storylines. Women naturally have a, a instinct of vicious attacking each other. So we don't need you to, your help. And you're making it worse because these women aren't getting jumped. These women are getting <laughs> but hitting below the belt. It. Season one was so raw because we had Bambi. She went out with a girl and a girl left her wallet at, at, the, at the party it was at. You know what I'm saying? Women are naturally shady. So the girl did some shady shit to her and then threw noodles on her. That was normal shit. That happened organically. My shit happened organically. He is forcing situations. He's telling bitches, I want you to attack this girl for clout i gave him nosh he wanted nosh to be a star he wanted her to attack me i gave it to him and now he has a star so why do you keep begging me to come back i gave you something now enjoy her she gonna bring you a bag leave me alone i'm tired of this shit i woke up and all of you my fans and y'all know y'all pisses me off when y'all send me shit, these lives of him talking shit about me. That pisses me off because let me tell you something. The person he should be more mad at is the people hanging out with him telling his real business. He should not be mad at me because I said some truthful shit. It's no fucking storylines. This is some fucking MMA South Central. That's what it is. MMA South Central. I've renamed it because they know baddie shit in this shit. Ain't nobody being no baddie. Bitches, when, when has he got us any interviews? He talking about, we ain't, we ain't doing it. When have you got us any interviews? When have you got us any bookings for clubs? When has he got us any photo shoots outside of the one photo shoot we do for the show? Nobody popping music videos. He ain't put us in. Make it make sense. I'm over this shit. It, it, and really I'm speaking up because I'm telling y'all these girls on the show have came to me and I, I only did this so when people started coming onto the show they would catch this shit before he fucks their self up let me tell you something everybody talking about my leg was out my leg was out and nobody was there and I went through depression and ain't nobody gave a fuck you know what I'm saying I was alone I had to deal with everything alone and you know what I'm still dealing with it alone, and I'm fine. I'm fucking fine. But you know what I'm not going to do? 
I'm not gonna let him try and tell me I'm not worth being on Zeus. Nigga, I'm worth every dime. Any dime that you put on me, I'm gonna show the fuck out. And you know it. That's why you trying to put show dime on me. Let's be a honey. We could bet on that one. At least Blue does for the girls. Exactly. And I said that and people was like, I'm trying to kiss Blue ass. No, I just see shit. I see this shit. It's factual. It, it has nothing to do with me wanting to be here, there, nowhere. I just see different shows giving different opportunities to women. That's all I see. Of course nobody checks on a strong friend. Of course, because we're supposed to always be strong. We can't never be weak. We can't never cry. We can't never have emotions. We got to be these tough bitches all the time. Man, I'm tough, but I ain't that tough. I got my weak days. And you like Rihanna say, you fake it. I fake it. What? I'm good. I'm good. Even on the days I'm not good, I'm good. Those days y'all see these girls on here screaming at their phone and shit. Y'all need to be asking them, are they okay? We Y'all gonna pray for them. That's what y'all really need to be asking these girls. When a girl keeps repeating a situation that happened with her, I, nine times out of ten, it really fuck with her. People talking about people dead, family members, people talking about people kids, people talking about people's sexual preferences. It fucks with everybody. Care what nobody say. I know Barbie's hair being pulled out fucked with her. <laughs> it upset her. You know what I'm saying? We we're like, yeah, it's entertainment. No, it really hurts. But it's okay. <laughs> Things happen. You know, we we live and we fucking learning. And I've learned from this situation of dealing with surviving Isaiah. Yeah, I've learned. <laughs> they even do, yeah they disrespect special case because special K is sweet they walk over her but like i said i'm over that shit i came here to speak my truth let it be known if zeus ever picks me up niggas gonna be mad i've seen a lot of comments saying she wants to be on zeus why would i not why would y'all not y'all watch it why would i not why would I not reach for a star? Y'all want me to eat crumbs and be a nobody, huh? I'm somebody, and I'm going to keep going up. I'm tired as fuck. I was in the studio all night. Yeah, while I'm not making motion, motion is coming. I sit patiently and wait for mine. I've been letting everybody do them. Yeah, do y'all. Because when it's my time, I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to be like, oh, I don't give a fuck. Y'all didn't give a fuck. I'm going to have my fun. I'm going to go to my clubs and turn up. I'm going to do my interviews. I'm going to do my shows. When What is coming? I got projects coming. I'm not putting out my music until my project is done. And I'm not talking about the music project. It's another project I got coming. Baby, I sit quiet. We Virgo shit. We sit like this. Keep sleeping on me. When I came to South Central Baddies, everybody would sleep on me. Oh, she's skinny. She's short. She just this. And then they seen I'm, I'm really somebody. I'm top dog. Don't come at me sideways. I give respect. I'm very, I came into South Central Baddies humble and respectful. I kept getting fucked with, which season one didn't show that. They showed y'all the fights and they, he, he feels like, you guys only watch for fights, so he's only worried about fights. He's not worried about a storyline, and that is what bothers me. And if that is so upsetting to say, and now he's sitting on social media bashing me over fucking 7,000, you really believe, do y'all believe that I believe he's going to give me 7,000? The network said they're going to give me 6000 and he said he's going to give me 1000 He still owes me 3000 Give me my 3000 before I come on anything. And another thing, I'm well connected with some of the people on the network, baby. 
And I caught wind that you are the reason my bag ain't bigger because you don't want me to do no other show on Now That's TV. You told them I'm your star and nobody can have me. Stop stopping my bag and let's see how I really come. Since I'm so scared with. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma say it again. Nah, 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 nah. You can't have me. Nah, 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 nah. Be mad. I'm not going on your shit. You disrespect. Oh, I've never seen such unprofessionalism in my life. <laughs> uh, me talking about people's homes, people's lives off of a show. This is all show shit I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting young and you supposed to be learning and I've been giving you time to learn, but you ain't learning nothing. <laughs> Eventually, now that TV gonna kick your ass off, you keep doing the shit you're doing. So you need to watch what you're doing because they're going to kick your ass right the fuck off their network, just like Zodiac House. He has ET under contract and controls her money. He don't, he don't have nothing. He ain't got me under no fucking contract controlling my money. The only thing he can do is go into other rooms and stalk me where I can't be in other rooms. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing he can do. He can he can stop it by not allowing anyone to do anything with me. That's the only way. I'm not under any contract with him. Let me make that clear. I'm a free agent. But I can't be a free agent when people are, are backdoing. They're backdoing me. I, before someone can even have a conversation with me to see if I want to do something, they're stopping it. That's what they're doing. He hopped on my live, I think it was yesterday, and said, did now that's TV call you? No, nigga, you called me, and I ignored your call. They're not calling me, you're calling me. That's a difference. And it's always this, oh, we do want Scarface. They, they, they put this sweet voice on and try to make y'all feel like it's, it's swept under the rug shit. That nigga, let me tell you something, that nigga holds grudges. He holds vendettas. He, he an evil motherfucker. He really evil. He really an evil motherfucker. He don't let shit go. He just pretends to, to get you in the room he wants you in, to get you fucked up. That's what he do. No, I don't know. I don't need no jack off people. I don't know if you're going to jack off, no. I don't care. I don't like that evil shit. I don't care. I don't care what he know. I don't like it. He really plays his role. And it's and it's like, how can you call any of us women scary on your show when you are behind the scenes smirking at us? He's smirking at us. Get fucked up or fucking someone up. You know what I'm saying? You're watching girls fight, and we fighting four, five bitches. I haven't yet to see him fight anybody. Have you guys seen him fight anybody besides his boyfriend? Hell no. You can't talk shit about none of us. Because we out here in the field while you sitting back chilling, getting 10K a month, which ain't shit. I'm so viral, you should be waking way more than that. I hope he knows that. He, his bag should be bigger. I'm all I'm nationwide. I have fans nationwide. And I don't have nobody in my friend request. Yeah. Thank you. He don't fight nobody. To call us scary is is baffling. Like how can you call someone scary when you ain't fighting nobody? To to try and fight somebody and y'all won't even let me fight them motherfucker. Let me, y'all you, it was just on top of my tongue too what I was gonna say about that ten K. What else gonna say? He's sitting here talking about this goddamn 10K a month. Much. Out of all three seasons, no one has received 10K that he 
promised as prize money. And he says it's because we don't know how to act. But he's the one putting bugs in everybody's ear to make them act the way they act. Make it make motherfucking sense. Scamming ass nigga. That's what I wanted to say. Did he really only get? I think he gave Zoe one thousand and five hundred. He didn't give her the full two thousand yet. Yeah, he gave her one thousand five hundred. How the fuck? Every season, the prize money is supposed to be ten k, right? And no one received ten k. That's why I said, I said I've yet to receive ten k in my bank account. That's the that was a sh a dig. It was a dig. Because I've yet to receive 10K. Instead of me being, you know, just out him and say, you know, he did one, two, three seasons and ain't nobody getting no 10K. I'd rather say it that way. I, as a star of his show, has yet to receive 10K is what I said. Because that's how I wanted to put it. Instead of me just outly telling people, you're scamming all of us women, getting us to come to your show. And then you're talking about you paying CEO, you're paying OGs. You paid Barbie and them fucking a thousand dollars to do the next season. They did season three for a thousand and got our fucking hair pulled out. That ain't shit. I'm mad as fuck if I get a thousand out and my hair gone. Shit, I can't even pay for no alopecia motherfucking medicine. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not going back to something when he keeps not he's he's not delivering and let me tell you something now that tv said they was going to give me six and he said he's going to give me a thousand i don't believe he's going to give me a thousand to go with that six thousand because he still hasn't given me my three thousand he owes me three thousand stop lying saying you paid me this much you paid me two thousand dollars he paid me two thousand dollars and then i went to zeus and i stopped posting south central baddie shit because Everything started adding up and I got upset and he's mad because he wanted to compete with Zeus. If you've noticed now, he's been posting like Zeus. Oh, new episode available tomorrow with pictures of girls just like Zeus. He's been showing little snippets of the new episode, a little piece of it off his shit like Zeus. He's been mimicking Zeus. First, he was fucking upset with motherfucking Blueface where he was taking Blueface cast members and putting them on his show now he's obsessed with Zeus and he's making his whole fucking platform look like they shit and he, he's mad because I caught on to that I'm like no in my head I didn't even feel like he was competing with Zeus I felt like he was competing with me because I wanted to be on Zeus um, and that's how I felt like no nah, don't compete with me because that's what I want to do like let me go shine where I want to shine at nigga like and give me my flowers Exactly what y'all saying. I'm sucking Krishan dick. I'm not sucking shit, bitch. I can walk in the room and not say shit to no bitch and not have a problem with it. I ain't crying at night like, oh, she didn't speak to me. I don't give a fuck. That's sucking dick, nigga. The fuck? What cameras? What? Literally, it looked like a knockoff Zeus with bad camera me. <laughs> It's the same cameraman, because let me tell you, Dave is a good camera guy. They broke up his equipment. Dave, Polo G, he also does blue face shit. He does zoo shit. He does um, some of Big Lexus stuff. He does stuff for all these shows, including Zeus. So don't put Dave in this. Then bitches, look for the camera and swing next to a fucking camera and broke his camera shit up. That's what happened. His shit got broke up because of this, this, this season. We met Dave when, when the end of season one. It's not that I've grown, it's that I realized that I was being toyed with. I realized that people were playing on my emotions and getting a rise out of me that they shouldn't get. He's not getting it. He ain't getting it. Nigga, fuck you. You not getting no fucking rise out of me. I'm going to tell it like it is, and that's just what it's going to be. If you can't handle the truth, don't say it, because I can take it. All you fans who tell me about myself, I take it in. I listen. Make your own show, period. Thank you. Exactly.
Exactly. Camera, the camera don't, yeah, don't do the cameraman. He ain't do nothing about it. They, that was all them. You see your old friend Cash. Of course they miss me because they realize with everything I spill to these le young ladies, let me tell you something. Whether they hate me, whether he told them something about me, whether Kenzie told them something about me, because all the salty motherfuckers came out and be revealed they motherfucking selves. They all had hatred towards me. And I, I call it I call it bitter. You're bitter. But these bitter people are now showing their true colors for sure so why what i'm not mad at nobody i'm not okay. and then i'm like i don't of a bitch that i helped build as a star this bitch he he here he goes having who he wants back on his show which shows favoritism which shows me why should i come to your shit if you not in my favor, I, I can't root for nobody who's not rooting for me, nigga. You not cheering for me. You waiting for a setup. You're waiting for a setup. Yeah, he, he wants to take Scarface away from me. I want y'all to know that. He wants to take my name away from me. He did not like that you guys said it was my show. He still don't like that y'all say I made the show. He don't like when y'all say that. He gets upset and he said he's going to take my name from me. You can't take something that's already been built, sweetheart. And you're a man. I'm a woman. Why are you so jealous? That's how I feel. You shouldn't be fixing your lips to have a whole rant about me. Now... Bambi said it best. I'm finna go get my son a pizza and I'm finna go hit the booth again tonight. Um, I have a couple songs I have to lay down and I guess I'm gonna have to keep going because I have to get this shit perfect for y'all. I've laid the one down yesterday. I'm gonna do another one today. Um, I have a, I have an announcement later on this month. I'm probably I'm gonna probably stay off live a while until it's time to announce my big announcement um y'all know y'all love to see me perform so i just hope you guys support and i hope scary marys don't be scared when it's time I, uh, see we think alike yeah, Dre, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the girls from season one got you know some of the rest of this yeah, and she was trying to be nice afterwards because everybody be wondering why these beefs on the show that he has, they be like, why these bitches beef and be cool? Because he pushed them, get her. What It was supposed to be Nas, Adore, and all them blue face girls against Brown Sugar, Kayla Bands, Snow Bunny, and the other bitches in there. They were supposed to go against them. But nobody wanted smoke with E.T. in that house, though, because I was going to run through that shit. Yes. You want what? Pizza. He said pizza. Okay, I'm finna go, you guys. My baby want pizza. Um, I'm glad I got to spill my real shit to you guys. This is some real shit that these girls are going through. And more than anything, I can I could take it. I could take it. But I don't like that you girls are coming on this show and getting fucked with. And this shit is traumatizing y'all. If any girl come on South Central Baddies and you have some shit, you can talk to me. I'm, you see, I'm not going live telling none of you girls business right now. They don't know who I'm talking about right now. Because I'm not going to tell you guys this personal business. Like, I understand this shit is hard. This shit is not easy to go through. Especially because this is the worst one to go through with. With I already know. Mom. No, we had we had a little beef. Rock a little shady. Rock a little shady. Mom. But I could deal with shady as long as you know. Mom. We could we could we could get here. Like you know, I'm about to get your pizza. I'm about to hang up. Okay. Okay. Now nah, rock a little shady, but she 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 she's, she's been being nice. So I'll I'll let it be. I'm gonna just let that be. That's some old shit.